Hey everyone, and welcome to this new series on heuristic methods. I hope you enjoy it. A heuristic method is a learning procedure in which people are trained to find out things for themselves. I like to think of them as simple but powerful open-ended rules that have been learned through experience which encourage new approaches to doing things. Um, because of this, they can be extremely useful for getting out of ruts. I'm sure some of these approaches will be familiar to some of you. Um, I'll be starting out with some of the more obvious heuristics and over time going into the more peculiar ones, so make sure to stay tuned. Thank you. Restriction games can be used to help organise our scratching into a variety of distinct sections. They're also very useful for creating new habits of playing through experimentation. They can be thought of as mental post-it notes, which apply a loosely defined temporary rule in our playing style. This provides us with a theme to play with that helps focus and simplify our creative decisions by greatly reducing our options. Having less options means we can act more quickly and with an intent to achieve a more coherent sound. Here are a few examples. As you can see, restriction games can encompass a wide variety of themes, from technique restrictions to pitch restrictions to repetition rules, as well as more abstract themes such as tiredness. Probably the best way to begin to practice this approach is to try to create an ABAB song style transition, switching between two restriction games until you find it easy enough to add more complex nuances and extra themes. When you first get into these games, you might find that they'll slow you down a little. This is normal, uh, because we're using a more slow-thinking analytical approach in an effort to restructure our scratching around a theme. This will require you to think differently and make different choices, so it won't be quite as easy as normally going about things. But with a little practice, this should become a part of your fast-thinking, intuitive thought process. At this point, these games become very useful for changing gears during freestyles. Here is a little freestyle using an ABAB song structure as an example.
I think it's important at the beginning to go for extreme contrasts like faderless and clicky restrictions or uh, fast to slow restrictions and things like that. Uh, because this will push you to explore a more extreme deviation from the norm while also giving you time to work out exactly what works best for you. Uh, then with this experience you can really start to get into the more subtle areas that use contrasts in a more buried way. So that's it for the first heuristic. Um, I hope you got something out of it. If you liked this, please give it a thumbs up and a share and feel free to drop me a comment if you have any questions or feedback um, for me. Thanks very much. pop shield. Almost forgot. If you like what I do and would like to help me keep doing it, please consider pledging a dollar once a month to support my future content. All you have to do is click this Patreon link and follow the instructions. Depending on how much you pledge, you can receive exclusive music used in the tutorials, specialized printable TTM notation sheets based on the latest patterns covered, and there's even a few limited availability private one-to-one -one lessons on offer at the moment via Skype. Thanks.